Hi guys, this is Daniel from FND. In this video, I'm going to show you how to draw a base image for an NFT collection using a software called GIMP. So let's get started. First, you need to download the GIMP software, which is the free image editor. You can also create NFT using that software. So go to gimp.org slash downloads and you can see you can download for Linux, Mac and Windows. Download and install it. After installing, open the GIMP software and you need to have four dialog box, one toolbox. So this is the toolbox. If you don't have this toolbox, go to Windows and select toolbox to open that. And next, you need to have this layers dialog. Go to Windows, Dockable Dialogs and select layers to open the layers dialog and like that you need to have tools option and brushes so that's it so let's see how to create a base image nft using this software first we need to create a new file go to file and select new and make sure the width is 3000 height is 3000 and click on the advanced option and make sure the X resolution is 300 and Y resolution is 300 and click on OK. For this to deliver purpose, I already draw this image, which is going to be the base image for my NFT collection. I already draw this in paper. So if you want to create an NFT collection, so you need to draw an base NFT image in paper and take a snapshot using your mobile camera and send it to your uh, PC and open this image inside GIMP. Select the scale tool and make sure the aspect ratio is logged in and the scale. Then I'm going to crop only this layer. So I'm going to change this name to base drawing. So I'm going to crop this image to fit inside this canvas. So select the crop tool and double tap to open the tools option and make sure the current layer only selected and make sure the expand from center selector and select the fix as aspect ratio and make sure it is 3000 is to 3000 and create like this and press enter now again select the scale tool click inside the layer and make sure the width is 3000 and height also 3000 and the scale now select the alignment tool and align it to the center now we need to add a guide in the center so go to image and guides and new guide by percent we need a vertical guide so make sure the position is in 50 percent click on ok so this is the middle of the canvas but we can see our face of our character is not in the middle so select the move tool and move it and place it in the middle now let's draw our image so we need to draw each and every features in a separate layer for example if we are going to draw an eye you need to draw it in the separate layer to create a layer click on this icon at the bottom or go to layer and create a new layer and and fill with transparency and change the layer name to i'm gonna draw a base face so i'm gonna change it to base face so to draw we can do it by select the pencil tool and go to tools option and make sure the hardness is 100 percent and reduce the size to 20 and make sure the base face layer is selected and you can draw like this if you hide the base drawing you can see it is not looking good so let's see another method zoom in shift plus to zoom in and you can 
click here and press shift and draw another click and click click you can do it like this this looking better than before but this is also not looking great let's see another method you can use the path tool select the path tool and draw the path and go to edit and stroke path select the paint tool to a pencil and stroke so this way you can create but this is also not looking good because we draw using our hand it is not symmetrical we can see this portion is uh, slightly smaller than this portion so if we trace over it it will not looking good we can use these rectangle and elliptical selection tools to draw the shapes for example to draw the base face we can use elliptical select tool and draw an ellipse like this and go to edit stroke selection change the paint tool to pencil make sure stroke with the paint tool is selected and stroke then again select the elliptical select tool and create a new layer control plus shift plus a to deselect or go to select none to deselect then create the bottom ellipse then go to edit stroke selection change to pencil tool stroke now if we hide the base drawing you can see this is not symmetrical you can see this is not symmetrical so to make it look symmetry right click on the top layer and alpha to selection copy and paste and click on the new layer icon and delete the bottom now select the alignment tool click on here and double tap to open the tools option and align center of target so now our image is symmetry then unhide the base drawing and we need to add this now hide the base drawing and select the eraser tool and select the base face and erase this portion select the top layer and erase this portion and select the top layer now merge these three layers right click merge down right click merge down so this is our base face and we are going to draw this i'm going to draw this using path tool select the path tool and draw the path add a new layer rename it select the pencil tool and make sure the size is 10 maybe 15 for outline we are going to do 20 size and for inside i'm going to do 15 go to edit stroke path change to pencil and stroke so you can see i draw only one side of this face to mirror to the other side duplicate this layer click on here to create a duplicate or go to layer and duplicate layer and select flip tool this is the flip tool go to tools option make sure the direction is horizontal and flip it let see so we just drawn the inside face and merge down now we are going to draw here for that i'm going to use elliptical select tool so i'm going to fast forward it i 
Also, I'm going to do that same for eyes, nose, and mouth. Now we just created a base face, eyes, and nose and mouth. Now we need to add our body. You can see the body is not in the middle, so I'm gonna move this layer to the middle and again I'm gonna draw over the base drawing, add a new layer and draw up a body. For this, I'm going to use the pencil tool and trace one side. Now duplicate and flip. Now hide the base drawing. Now we need to add colors. To fill the color, you need to go layer by layer and fill it for the base face. I'm going to select this color. and select the bucket fill tool and fill inside. Before that, I'm gonna merge down inside face and the base face and fill it. Then I'm going to add highlights and shadows for each layers. Select the base face layer and add a new layer and change the layer name to base face shadows and add a shadow make the foreground color as black and select the pencil tool and add a shadow and change the mode to soft light and then merge down to the base face layer then to add a highlight add a, another layer base face highlights and change and change the foreground color to white and draw the highlights make sure the mode to soft light as well so that's it i hope you learned something from this video from this video you can see how to draw using different methods like using pencil tool using path tool or using elliptical selection tool so you can also draw your own image in a piece of paper and capture it using your mobile phone and send it to your pc and drop that image inside gimp and trace over it make sure each and every feature in a separate layer and make that layer into group and add different like different nose inside a nose group and different eyes inside eyes group i'm going to show that in a different video how to create 10,000 plus NFTs. So make sure to subscribe this channel. In this video, we can see this image is not looking very good because I have not drawn correctly. If you draw precisely, you can trace it very easily. For this tutorial purpose, I'm not doing perfectly. You can use the methods I have told in this video and you can draw perfectly using that methods. So thanks for watching. If you like this video, give thumbs up, subscribe the channel for more future tutorials. Also press the bell icon so that you can get instant notification when I upload your video. Thanks for watching and bye.